Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Into the Breach. I'm gonna give Vec Hormones a try. I'm going to do my damnedest to get enemies to kill each other. Let's do it. And let's do the shielded vaults. It's not that big of a problem having one damage on the judo mech right now because the robots that spawn will themselves only have one HP, so we can kill them very easily. Um, but I think I want to do this bef instead of the cryo lab because I really do not like that mission where the enemies come out of the ice and we have to kill them before they retreat by the last turn. No, 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 no. This is a little bit, a little bit easier, I think. But I want to try my damnedest to let the enemies kill each other, even though I know it's it's a, it's seemingly, anyways, to be a rather difficult thing to have happen. We will try. I will try. This is acceptable. The fireflies are easy because they have a ranged attack. Frickin' leapers and scorpions, it's a little bit harder. Like, I actually have some good moves here <laughs> as opposed to, as opposed to, uh, oh, I'm, Bethany is stuck, as opposed to elsewhere. Um, anyways, what we can do on this turn is we can we could put the alpha crab in position of the firefly and the firefly will do three, four damage to the alpha crab and kill him instantly, I believe. So then we can focus on other things. What would we focus on? I mean, honestly, I think killing this guy that spawned by pulling him into my siege mech might be a good idea. And the siege mech could always cryo, cryo one of the robot factories, so hopefully they don't make more robots. I don't know if that's a thing, but it would be a nice thing to have happen. But we can get one friendly kill on this turn, or one uh, Vec killing Vec on this turn, just by throwing the Alpha Crab. So I think that's what we have to do. So he's dead. He's gonna go first, but no, no one is in his uh, his attack. And then what do we do? Well. Ah, can't quite get the crab to kill the other firefly. If I could position the siege mech like right here on these buildings, then I could push the firefly into a position where I could flip the attack of the crab so that he would hurt his friends. That's not gonna happen. So, what do we do? Well, I think what we do is... I don't really wanna necessarily kill the cannon bot, but we're only killing one enemy on this turn. Two more will spawn, and there's gonna be a cannon bot. So I think, honestly, maybe we do want to kill the uh, the cannon bot that spawned. Just get him out of the way. We can position our shield mech a little bit, a little bit better so that we're not hemmed in. This was a stupid move, making everything stuck, basically. So why don't we just solve this problem? We're gonna break the shield, which means we have to be careful using the cryo launcher, but honestly, that's okay. We'll freeze one of... Right, because we broke the shield. You know what? <sighs> Try this again. This time, why don't we not do that? <laughs> why don't we just not do that? Don't want to attack anywhere. Just end turn. Don't freeze my mech. It's hard to get used to that, that without the shield we uh, freeze ourselves. There we go, Alpha Crab's dead. You get a Scion, a Hornet, and two Fireflies. Firefly can kill Firefly, and then we can push or pull the Hornet out of the line of attack of those two buildings. This is, a, this is good, this is good. Attack order means that, yeah, attack order means that if I, um, 
pull these two in a line, then one of the fireflies is just dead, which is lovely. And it's the one that's gonna be blocking the shot, which is perfect. Now I could do that with any unit here. I could do that with the siege mech. I could do that with the, uh, one of the fireflies. Or not with the fireflies, with the crab mech. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just kill the artillery mech. Yeah. Throw him. Put the siege mech here. Cryo the hornet. We will. We will unthaw from the damage from the vex spawn. Never realized that the word vex spawning in red at the bottom right corner is actually a little bit too big for the text area. Lol. Programming. So we grab well you. You kill a firefly, buddy. Kill a mech. Freeze ourselves. And we're good. Putting the power in the passive ability to increase mech dam or a vec damage against each other is working. You couldn't step in the fire, you stupid man. Okay, what do we do about this? Can't quite get into a position where I can push the scorpion into the firefly's line of attack. Multiple enemies are spawning next turn. I mean, I could just use the Judah mech and the, the siege mech to block a couple of spawns. It's pretty easy to do. You put one there, you put one there, you freeze them both, and then they don't take damage. But I still have to deal with the Firefly, which I don't think the Grav Mech can do on its own. I think I do need to have one of my other mechs help. So how would they help? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. I mean, I guess I could just stand in the shot. The Firefly doesn't do that much damage. One damage. I can still kill one of the cannon bots by moving my Judah mech here. It's probably what we're gonna have to end up doing. Which isn't bad. That's not a bad turn. That's not a bad attack. Yeah, yeah. Just thinking if there's like, like anything else I can do, and I can't really do that much. I can wound these two, but it doesn't do that much damage. Grav mech has nothing to do, I think? So, I mean, I guess I could move him back over here a little bit. This is just, this is just a weird turn. I don't want to pull the Firefly onto the, onto the fire because he's going to hit a building. And I can't get the Firefly to attack his friend because I would have to use the Grav Mech, the Judo Mech to move him into position, and I can't do that. So, you know what? Kill him, block the shot. You're gonna move down here and I guess do nothing. Sure. <laughs> we, have t we have two units who are not doing anything on their turn. You know what? Now I can't cryo launch anything. Uh, actually, I can. I can. By using the ability, I'll save one HP. There we go. And now you have a turn. Whatever. This is a this is a weird a weird fight. We're not doing anything. We're just kinda like, alright, well, freeze you, throw you. Hitting a building. Hitting buildings, hitting a unit. Can we get them to attack each other? Four enemies die from enemy fire. We might be able to do the achievement here. How would this work? Attack order one, four, five. 
Yeah. Four, five. He does one damage. He would do four damage. Ah, oh, we have... We would have to kill the Soldier Scion before anything else happened. So we can't do it on this on this battle, unfortunately. Because I was thinking, move the Scorpion into this square. He will hit the Alpha Hornet for five... No, four points of damage. But he has five HP, so it's not going to work. Now, the Siege Mech could then move it down here and knock the Firefly into a position where the Firefly is going to kill the Scorpion for four damage. But then we still have to deal with the Hornet living and the Firefly hitting a building, which we can't. Oh, I hit the I hit end turn. Oh, no. I just lost the entire campaign. <laughs> I meant to hit end move. Oh, that is... That is dumb. That is, that is dumb. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. I mean, Bethany's gonna go with us. We're gonna try this again. Same squad, same squad. But, I think the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the end turn notification. <laughs> Oh, I, I, oh, I just, oh. I don't want to talk about it. I was trying to think about how I could get the achievement. Oh. Good lord. Good lord, that is dumb. <laughs> That's dumb of me, okay? <laughs> that was, there was absolutely no reason for that whatsoever. Oh. Let's try it again. Well, maybe, maybe now I can actually take some of the lessons I have learned and put them into this squad. Like, get buildings immune as soon as possible. Let's put you here. Put that into Vec Hormones. Maybe I can get it to work. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. And I'll go back to archiving. Same thing as last time. Defend the train. I hate the train, but we will try. Three move? Four move? So basically, wherever I go, you can hit me, so... Just do something like this. Ah, I should put you in the back. Okay, okay, take two. Should have that end turn notification, I think. At all times. Oh, I hate this! They're both attacking the same building. I hate when these guys are on the same damn building. Well, let's try to work on the achievements, you know? Let's try to work on actually making it work. We can get number one to kill number three, and we can get number two to kill number one. With a single action? Excuse me? Number one kills number three, number two kills number one. Wow, okay, well, that's a good start. <laughs> I know we have actions available, but there's there's nothing else I need to do here. Let's go, like. You know what, stay put. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for reminding me. It would be nice if the end turn button reminded you when buildings were still under attack, you know? Because I, you know, I don't care right now about, um, oh, but how would it know? Because the building's under attack. You know what? We should always have this option open. If ever we have an action available, we want to make sure that that's the correct thing. We don't, don't want to accidentally hit the end turn, end turn button. Okay. That was, oh God, just. <sighs> Whatever. Already, though, we're doing better than we did on the last run. <laughs> Vec are killing other Vec. All right, you're gonna hit him. We have to stop that from happening. Attack order, one, two. If I dump the Hornet into the fire, then the Hornet will die to the fire. Need to find a way of 
easily getting the Hornet off. I guess if we stand there and judo over, then the Hornet will die to the spawn, and then we can always stand here and block another spawn ourselves. Oh no, but I, I'm using him here to knock the Firefly over. Right. Not the Firefly, but the uh, Hornet. And if you see actions on number three. Buildings are not immune, are they? No. Undo move. I like this attack order because it actually makes sense. Like, the train is in the correct position, unlike that mine uh, mission where those mine layers are in the wrong order. Um, I mean, it could just stand here and pull you and then kill the hornet, which is probably what I'm going to do. Oh, 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 maybe we can actually... Yeah, we can just get them to die by making this shot here. Because it'll push them into each other. That's acceptable. That was incredible, Pilot Zhang. Simply incredible. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm here all week. End turn. <gasps> Action available! Do you want to end your turn? Oh, wait a minute, let me look at this. Let me make sure that I actually want to end my turn. Scion, nice. It's nice because it doesn't matter all that much. Can't make them kill each other. No! We were so close. Ah, we weren't really that close, honestly. Hmm, you know what? We can make the Firefly kill the Vec. <laughs> the Vec, they're all Vec. Kill the Scion. And then all we have to do is just flip this guy around. Or flip him in this direction, even. Can't get a kill. So, no reason to even attack. Just flip him. And turn. Oh, look at the... I'm not gonna go through that again. <laughs> we killed three enemies with Vec. That's it, that's okay. That's okay. Kill seven enemies, defend the satellite launchers. I don't really want to do Restoration Center, but we actually have to? No, we don't have to. We can go uh, Safeguard the Valley and then Archival Flats. Although I'd really like to push forward, but I don't like the idea of killing seven enemies and protecting the coal plant. We can give it a shot later, but let's do the Defend the Satellite Launchers first. Ugh. Buildings not being immune to the artillery might make this a big pain in the ass, but there's three fireflies. Hopefully that's gonna be easy for us to deal with. Should have moved the uh, siege mech back one more, I think. And we have to get that time pod before the satellite launches, unfortunately. Vec doing one damage is not that bad. We can always stand in front of the shots. This is not terrible, and honestly, the um, sat the satellite launches can withstand one shot each, so we don't need to worry too much about that. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Chuck him into a mountain. Block a shot, and he won't hit the building in the back. How much move do you have? Three. You have four, you have four. I mean, I love the idea of blocking a spawn, and I can I can kill the Firefly if I hit him first with the Grav Mech. We will lose the shield, but the shield is just temporary anyways. We shouldn't worry so much about keeping that shield intact. I don't think there's a way that we can get this to work by killing this Firefly by knocking him into a mountain, but we can push the Firefly off of the satellite. Wait a minute, then he'll kill his friend, won't he? Uh, but we have to still block the shot first anyways. But that's still, I think, a good move. So, undo move, undo move, undo move. You stand here. Do extra damage to this guy by pulling him into a mountain. You stand here. Toss him onto the spawner. 
you push the Vec into a position where he's gonna shoot his friend. And he's gonna do two damage, I think, right? Yes, because I put the I put the extra power from Bethany into Vec Hormone, so this should work. That should be a kill, and that should be a kill, so there's only gonna be two enemies on the next turn. I think. Shields down, yeah, yada yada. Yeah, three damage. So we're currently a plus two. I wish that the I, I wish that you could look at your mech stats. I wish you could look and see what, where your power is, so that you know what's happening a little bit more. This looks terrible, but it's not the end of the world. We can still save the pod, and both Vec will die. We will have to shoot ourselves. Actually, no. This Scion is not going to die if we if we do this. But we have to save the pod, so we have to save the pod. This won't kill the Scion, but we can kill the Scion with our mech. Just by launching him over ourselves. It's acceptable. Um, you have an action. You might as well prepare. Protecting the second satellite's gonna be a lot easier now that we don't have this area to deal with. You know, we can use our siege Shot, we can not care so much about where the attacks are coming in from. I don't think I can do this getting them to hurt themselves. I mean, what I could do is I could get one kill, then just punch him and get another kill, as much as I would like to get them to attack each other. I could also get him to block a spawn. Do I want to go for kills, or do I want to go for you know, kind of ease of use here? This wouldn't be that bad. But my judo mech doesn't really do anything. Except block a spawn. I'd rather him. I'd rather have him do something. You know. Let's see. Ah. Let's just judo him. We will hit the flyer for one. Make him easier to kill on the next turn. We get hit for zero and we still block a spawn. And then you will just block a spawn and do nothing. Can you block the other spawn? No. Ooh, do I want him to block? I do want him to block a spawn. We don't have buildings immune, but he he can almost get into position to knock the Hornet off of one of these two squares, should the Hornet stand on one of these two squares, but we also still have the Siege Mech, which can... cannot knock the Hornet off. If the Hornet stands on one of these two squares, we're gonna take damage. I think that's what this is going to be, but I don't see... I, I, I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think the Hornet is going to be smart enough for that. I think the Hornet's gonna try to hit two buildings, you know? That's what I'm betting on. Probably should not bet on it, but I'm going to bet on it. See, that's fine. I can deal with that. Can I? Wait a minute. <laughs> hmm. Give me a second. You'll survive. I don't need to actually worry about you. Can I deal with this? In a building. Wait a minute. I can pull him. Pull him. Yeah, 
Yeah. Building's immune. Building's immune would prevent this grid damage. I don't know how to prevent that grid damage. Like, I can deal with the Hornet. I can deal with the Leaper. That's not a problem. The problem is, how the hell do I push you off of the building? I guess I shoot the... No, I can't shoot the building because it's going to hit the other building because the buildings are adjacent and I hate that. Don't hit end turn. Um... Can't hit that square, can't hit that square, can't hit that square, can't hit that square. Literally, this, the siege mech just is useless. It's useless. One, two, three, four. Four move, can't get into position where you can do anything. Unless I hit this square, but... I'd have to pull him twice. I can't pull him twice with the grav mech. So we're, we are going to get hit on this building. There's nothing I can do about it, again. Until we get more um, more power, until we can get buildings immune, until we can get um, more weapons, more modifications, we're kind of just in this position where sometimes the enemies are going to get the better of us. And me, me moving the grav mech over here wasn't the problem. The problem is I can't shoot anywhere in this area with the siege mech. I can't. If I shoot anywhere around here, I'm going to hit a building and I'm going to take damage. Yes, I can knock this guy off the building, but I'm going to hit the building. So I don't think there's a way around that, and I can't pull him. It doesn't do anything. So I guess we are just going to accept that we are taking one grid damage. I can get... No, don't do that. <laughs> here. I can get one kill and then save the siege mech from the leaper. Doesn't do much. See, this is why I would I, I prefer if there's fireflies here. If there's fireflies, I can let the fireflies do a ranged attack down the field to hit the freaking vec off the building. I could actually, you know, think of something that we could do, but melee, melee, melee. Enemies are far apart. The whole... What is the ability called? Vec Hormones ability? It's so situational that it does nothing for us in this situation when I needed to do something. It's far too situational. But anyways, gotta kill. Uh, it doesn't matter. As long as we don't pull him, we will only take one grid damage instead of two grid damage. But there's nothing I can do about this. My judo mech is way too slow, even though he's got four movement, I think. It's too slow to make it over there to, to do anything about it. That's okay. We got a pod. Move again after shooting. Could be useful. We'll probably wait on that. Defend the artillery support, protect the power generator. I like that mission. We should probably do that first. But let us... Fiddle. Take Bethany off. Might as well put Archimedes on, right? He's closer to leveling up, so sure. We don't need to power up his ability. Put Bethany on Cluster Artillery so we can get Buildings Immune. We'll lose one extra damage from Vec Hormones, but I gotta make Buildings Immune, don't I? Oh, especially on a mission like this that's totally congested. Multiple buildings that are one or that are adjacent to one another. Yeah. We have artillery support, so we're going to have one extra unit doing damage. In fact, the artillery does more damage than my super advanced time traveling mechs do. Weird. Zhang can go here. More, more XP already on him. I hate this. I, I hate this squad. Anyways. Hopefully this will be a relatively straightforward mission. Soldier Scion, I'm hoping that the artillery can attack him, so we're just going to do uh, kind of a standard layout, I think, as far as deployment goes. Good. I can get two Vec to kill each other. I could just try my best to kill them. We also need to kill this guy. Okay, Vec, if I toss you, 
one of you is going to die, and one of you is going to have one HP. But I could also just kill one of them by moving here, and it does one damage to the other one, right? Why would I not want to do that? Good question. Or just move Bethany over, move you here, flip you. I mean, I guess we could try to go for the the achievement again. Sure, let's try to go for the achievement again. And no one's doing anything. I, I didn't move with two units. Let's try to go for the achievement. End turn. There's only gonna be two enemies on the next turn and we can kill one of them easily with the artillery if we have to. I like that because it means I might be able to get them to kill each other. Probably not. You're doing three damage. Can't flip your direction of attack. Okay, if I stand here and pull you, I could attack this spot. I can't, oh, I can't get them to attack each other. Well, we can block, no, I mean, might as well kill you. Might as well kill you. We wanna block the spawn though, we don't wanna do damage on that. Undo move, undo move. Move there, move back. Shoot. The grab pull. Shoot the hornet. Flip the hornet. Blocking spawns. Action available, let's move you over one. Right? Yeah, that's good enough. End turn. Lights of fire, which is nice. There we go, Alpha Firefly, stand in front. No, you, you didn't, of course you didn't. Um, we could get close to killing the Alpha Firefly with the regular Firefly. It's only gonna do two damage on a hit, but it's something. <laughs> not even close to getting the achievement, so we might not want to even bother. Three damage. Bethany, you're in a terrible place. I'm sorry I put you next to a mountain because you, can, you can't do anything anymore. Um, do, 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 do. Block a spawn, pull? I mean, or we could just move. <laughs> There's that too. Yeah. And if we're doing that, we might as well kill this guy by just moving here, pulling. Oh, we can't get a kill, and he's gonna get hit for one. Okay, undo moves. On the other side. You are going to move there. We can get a kill on this guy, okay. Thought we could. Just took a little bit of effort. But we're definitely not gonna get that achievement. <laughs> kill four enemies or block five points of damage in one round. This is the island that we want to get both of those in if we can. Alpha Firefly is easy to knock around and he's gonna kill his friend. Just probably don't even need to look at the attack order, but there we go. Um, and then we're just gonna get a kill. Level up, end turn. 
Get one extra kill, sure. That's all right. Still on Perfect Island, plus two mech HP, that's fine. Still on Perfect Island, but uh, I guess we do have one more reactor grid now, or power grid now that we have the, the bonus objective completed. I really want one more reactor. I want more, one more pod, <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> plus two mech HP on the judo mech is fine. We, we can actually tank more hits now, so maybe that's actually really good for us. Move again after shooting could also be good with the judo mech, but need a lot more power for that. Anyways, I'm going to end it here, and we will finish off this island in the next video. Very sorry for ruining it on the uh, the first mission of the last campaign attempt. <laughs> just a just a misclick. That's all it took. It took like seven power grid damage because I'm trying to think of the turn and then hit the undo button, but hit the wrong button by mistake. Anyways. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you here again for the next mission in Into the Breach.